Hello, in this video, we will be exploring Lagrange error bound and really deconstructing the formula so that we know what each part really means and what we need to actually plug into each part so that we get the proper answer. So first we start with Taylor's theorem and that says f of x, a function just can be approximated by using a polynomial. This is Taylor's polynomial. So this would be Taylor's approximation right up to here. And then we have an error of r sub n of x. This error leads us to a Lagrange error bound, which finds the maximum upper bound that this error can be, which means this number that we are trying to find using Lagrange error bound is the highest possible value that our approximation using the Taylor polynomial can be from the actual function f of x. So this big mess here is of the Lagrange error bound and we will be going through each part of it separately. But first always remember that we are trying to maximize this therefore we will be trying to maximize this because it is in the numerator maximize this it's in the numerator and this can't do much with it because it's just your degree but yeah. So first we'll start with C which is your polynomial center and for a Taylor polynomial we, we see that everywhere, x minus c, that's your polynomial center. And remember, if c equals 0, then that is a special case of a Taylor polynomial called a Maclaurin polynomial. Also, pretty simple is just your degree of the polynomial. It's the last, or rather the highest, uh, exponent of x in the polynomial. x itself is the number being approximated, so if we were to say have f of 5, then we would be approximating 5. So we would have f of c plus f prime of c, 5 minus c, and so on. And that would be our approximation of f of 5. Now the trickiest part is probably uh, this mess right here, where, it's, where we're trying to find the maximum of the n plus 1th derivative of f. So z it's just a number between x and c such that we find the n plus 1th derivative of f to be a maximum. Remember, x is the number being approximated and c is the polynomial center. So you have two values and z has to be between those. You just go through it and find your maximum that would make this maximum. And that's pretty much all there is to Lagrange error bound. Just find your derivatives and make sure you plug in all your numbers correctly. Take your factorials and that should give you the upper bound of the error of the uh, largest distance between the approximation of the Taylor polynomial that we have from the function f of x. Uh, 